and Edward Zerman became the first Air Force and government test pilot to fly the F-35 Lightning II during a test sortie January 30th at the Lockheed Martin facility at Naval Air Station Fort Worth, Texas. Lieutenant Colonel James Kronberg flew the aircraft during a flight that consisted of the takeoff, handling qualities maneuvers, engine throttle transients, formation maneuvers, and the landing. Oh, the flight went very well. The, air, the aircraft felt uh, very well, flew well. The uh, engine response was, uh, well, I'm smiling, it was a lot of power, which was great. It just seemed to come right off the runway, real nice. The flight controls and the handling was excellent. It's very enjoyable for a first flight. Colonel Kronberg has been part of the F-35 test team since the fall of 2005. He is an experienced pilot with more than 3,200 hours flying various Air Force aircraft as well as the Marines AV-8B Harrier jet. 412 Test Wing Commander Colonel Arnie Bunch says that as a former Marine pilot and graduate of the Marines Weapons School and a graduate of the U.S. Air Force Test Pilot School, Colonel Kronberg was uniquely qualified for this mission. He also has served as the uh, Integrated Test Force Director of Operations over the last couple of years and worked on JSF simulators, worked on HUD, looked at other uh, programs that were going on. And he's the most qualified military guy attached to flight ops. At this phase of the program, the Joint Strike Fighter is in its developmental stages, and the initial pilots will all be graduates of a test pilot school. That will include the contractor and the military pilots, and they also uh, will have extensive fighter experience, extensive test experience, and a lot of experience within the Joint Strike Fighter program. Colonel Bunch adds there are advantages of having both contractor and military aviators on this program. The contractors provide long-term continuity to the program because they don't have cycles where they get PCS and move around. The military operators and testers usually bring in the warfighter perspective and a more recent operational experience. So that's the unique skill set that the military guys bring in right now. Reflecting on his first flight, Colonel Kronberg said his expectations were more than met. Oh, it exceeded my expectations. It was a, a great match and a testament to a lot of the simulation that we've done. It flew uh, very well in comparison with the simulator and all the training that we've done today. The F-35 is scheduled to arrive at Edwards for a further flight test in the spring. Don Waldman, Edwards Air Force Base, California.